Now, that's a great question. When did European galleons and warships change to the huge metal warships of World War I? Well, let me explain. For almost 300 years, from the 1500s going into the early 1800s, when you were thinking of a warship, you were probably thinking of something along these lines. Multi-masted, double or triple decked with cannons, just, just the classic warship. The first transition that you saw from this was in the early 1800s, where ships still had rigging, but they also saw the addition of steam engines in order to help power them. These new steam frigates were significantly more maneuverable than previous warships, but simultaneously they weren't protected yet. And a cannon shot to the engine might make everything go boom, which is not exactly a good thing. The first ironclad to ever then be created was actually made by the French back in 1859, called the Glory. But this and others were still wooden ships that were encased in metal. Over time, as technology and guns and everything else got significantly better, the wooden frame was then replaced entirely by steel. And so it was that by the 1890s or early 1900s, we just didn't say ironclad anymore, now they were the ships.